In tonight's battle, Dennis, a.k.a. Hodge, takes on So Hot Right Now Josh in a three-round contest at Mink Nightclub. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. The cameras are hidden, the women are real, and the game is on. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators with perspectives descending from the four corners of the male psyche. There's Alan, the cold, calculated master of pickup analysis, Peaches, an ex all star jock inspired seduction specialist, Sheldon, the mysteriously coy and unorthodox philosopher, and Chris, a hopelessly romantic man of integrity. Together, they will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize? A limo escort to an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. Tonight, the party's in the VIP lounge at Century Room. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, Dennis, a.k.a. Hodge. What's up, guys? My name's Dennis. This is my pad, my domain. This is where I live alone, not with my parents. Very nice, comfortable couch. You can get cuddly, you can get close with one or two or however many ladies you'd like. This is the bed. Nice and spacious. You can fit as many people on here as you'd like. I think tonight you can expect to see a lot of girls around me. I think my personality will come through, my humor, my ability to do impressions, any sort of thing to get a girl to laugh. Josh, be warned, your night's not going to be too much fun. I think the things that girls like about me is that I'm open, I'm honest from the start, I'm intelligent, I can carry on a conversation about just about anything, whether I have to, you know, BS my way through a few things, and that's okay, but at least you get the job done. Tonight, I'm going to win because I have the confidence, I have the attitude, I have the sense of humor, and game on. Kai Bosch will be on Josh. <laughs> that was pretty dry. I bet taste your saltines, you know what I mean? Uh, I want uh, some energy out of this guy. Uh, I hope he comes out with a little bit more personality in the field, because uh, at this rate, he's going to talk the girls to sleep. <laughs> I am humorous. <laughs> I'll say I like the fact that he's willing to do something to, to meet a woman. He says he'll, you know, lie a little bit or do whatever. So that's interesting, at least. He kind of reminds you of a cyborg sent back in time from the yeah. future to <laughs> save Sarah O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like the husband from the Terminator, doesn't he? <laughs> With Tyler the, Reese. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, I, I, like I have a bad feeling about this guy. I don't think he's going to do very well. Well, guys, let's take a look at Josh. Maybe we get something better to work with. And now, so hot right now, Josh. Hi there. I'm Josh, uh, and this is my room. I live with my grandparents. My grandfather, this man right over here, I call him the coach. He knows what it takes to be a player. I think when women see me, they see, you know, a tall, dark, handsome person, you know, pretty tan skin, nice little eyes. When you walk into a club, that mentality definitely has to be that you are the sexiest person in my club. And right now, I feel that way. I'm a player because I feel like I can talk to any girl in any situation, and uh, it's that confidence that I bring to the table. There is no weak part to my game. Basically, I just try to make a girl feel comfortable. You know, I'm not too pushy. And I make them laugh. You know, sense of humor is very important with women. Bottom line is I'm coming up on top. This is a battle of the driest wit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy clearly looks like he just walked out of a magazine ad, so he's got the looks. But does he have a personality to back it all up? That might be enough in this, in this battle. <laughs> <laughs> I think Josh is going to take it simply because he has the edge in confidence, and that might lead him to, into situations where he wouldn't usually go to. I think they're equally confident. I don't know why, but at least Josh is good looking. You know what I mean? I, I think I'm going to go for the underdog here, Dennis. I hope he becomes a little bit more of a menace in the playing field than he was in his profile, but uh, I'm going to go for the underdog. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at game one. Coming up after the break. I'm new in town. Can I get the uh, direction to uh, your part, <laughs> All right, guys, game number one, Hodge. We're providing them with a the pickup line because I think these guys are not capable of coming up with anything on their own. <laughs> not that pickup line should work, but let's see if some cheesiness can help these guys out. It's one of those times we give them our trash and see if they can make it a treasure. Yeah. <laughs> In round one, each player must initiate a pickup using a cheesy one-liner provided by our panel. Let's see how our players work the lost art of the pickup line. Nice. 
<laughs> Came with the Borat. <laughs> Can I get those directions? Of course. Yes. Anytime. Success. Great. Wow. Wow. That's creative. Okay. You know That's what? Creative. I think. Is this? Is it Cheers worthy? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Dennis. I'm Dennis. Nice to meet you. And yourself? Anna. Anna. Nice to meet you. Are you dancing? Are you? Am I interrupting dance time? No. no. He's like uh, Superman here. His real identity, Clark Kent, bores them to yes. hell. <laughs> and then yeah, when he yeah, turns yeah. on the Borat, yeah. he's Superman again. And they yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of Steve Tasker running the ball into the end zone against the Dallas Cowboys. You know, he's almost there, and then he fumbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's really funny. Yes. You know where I'm from? Kazakhstan. Come on. I'm seriously from Kazakhstan. I'm really? joking. <laughs> you from afar, we can go out, have drink, and talky talk. Talky talk? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I have phone number, I have cell phone number. I have a boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> this is one of these up oh, and hope for a, you know, hope yeah. for a half court shot. He's like a mascot, and, and everybody loves the mascot until they take off the mask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new in town, right? New in town? Yes. It was nice meeting you, Vera. Nice meeting you too. You too. Anna, nice to meet you as well. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you soon. Well, you know what? He opened it up nicely. He had a yeah. he had a great improv, but this is not a show about improv. This was a perfect example of an amazing icebreaker and then nothing to back it up with. Opportunity. Wasted. Opportunity yeah, we lost here. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm saying Borat won, but Dennis definitely lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Let's see if Josh can do any better. of him getting oh, yeah. her name right, yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys come here a lot? No. No? Where do you guys yeah. usually go? He does. You know what? I saw you before, and I was going to talk to you, but I was a little bit shy. That was close to my heart right yeah. there. <laughs> Demonstrate a little bit of vulnerability. You came up so confident, you yeah. got to throw a little little, little twist. Right. You're a very good-looking girl. I was going to tell you that. Um, so, where are you guys from? We had to do a reset there mentally, eh? Um, Control, alt, delete. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends downstairs, I gotta find my, like, they were up here before, but can I get your number and I'll, like, call you, like, later on in the night and we'll, like, you know, maybe I'll buy you a drink or something? You gotta give me your number, the way you did that was very Yeah, good. that was very good, I had to That was very that good. That was really good. There you go. Thank you very much. And if you remember my name, you can save it. <laughs> Drop the ball, buddy. This is Drop amateur night at the Apollo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's it's, see what he does, though. Let's see yeah. how he gets out of this situation. You just, you just blocked it, though. It just went off when I, when I closed it. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll see you later. On. Bye. I know her name too, Gina. See, I knew you remember Gina's name. Because Gina made a point of exactly. making Exactly. And you know what? And when a girl makes a point of drilling her name into it, she's the one that's interested in you. In uh, Josh's defense, you know, maybe he just wasn't interested in Gina. Maybe she was making herself too Because clearly he wasn't interested in the no name's name either. Can <laughs> <laughs> you remember her name? Here's the ultimate irony. The the handicap lines that we gave him to handicap them was actually the best stuff for both guys. <laughs> Josh got the number. Uh, he didn't get her name, so he's not going to know who to ask for. <laughs> but he's going to know who to call. <laughs> Josh is like that uh, Ryan Leaf draft pick. I mean, he has all the tools, tools. but I think he's mm -hmm. gonna be a bust. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the key is that Josh got a little bit further than the other guy in terms of actually getting a girl to commit to give him his phone number, or her phone number, so too bad I he, have to give it to Josh. Too bad he didn't commit to giving her name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's give it to Josh by a hair. Let's see if they can do any better in the second game. Coming up after the break. I'll give you my phone. Why don't you guys exchange names first? <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. 
and uh, in this game, we're asking uh, a bunch of questions. Here we go. In this round, each player must obtain a woman's phone number, but may only speak in questions. The real question is, do our players have any game? Okay, uh, verbal cue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, seriously. What a demonstration. I think it has something to do with the emergency brake and the stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> what do you drive? A Mini Cooper. Makes sense. What's your name? Emily. Yeah. What do you eat? What do you drive? What's your name? Where do you go? <laughs> he doesn't build off one question. No, no, why would you? <laughs> what do you think about all my questions? Well, I think that, um, She's given him every indication that she wants him to take, ride dirty. To, take, yeah, <laughs> take this Q and A period and, yes. and, and this turn it into a T and A period. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you here with? Uh, this is my best friend, Bridget. Bridget. Uh, and this is Dennis. Rebecca. Dennis. Rebecca. What's your favorite board game? Uh, What's all your favorite board game? What's everybody uh, play? I think you made a mistake here. Really. He left his focus and he moved on to the friends. He gets a little <laughs> opening and like a running back, he hesitates and before you know it, it closes. You know, there's defensive linemen all over the place. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's got to hit that hole hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> How about a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> Are you interested? Wow. What's going on here? Where'd this come from? Because he, he's asking a lot of questions. Women love it. <laughs> Oh, he's saying goodbye. <laughs> you know what? Of all the questions, his first statement was goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I think the thing Dennis has going for him is girls like him. Uh, yeah. Until they get to know him. <laughs> you know, it, it reminds me of Super Bowl 25 when the Buffalo Bills played a, played a hell of a game and only to lose in the end because yeah. of Scott Norwood's right right kick. Yeah. And I'm going to rename this guy Scott Norwood because no matter <laughs> what he does, he always manages to go wide, wide right. right. <laughs> you know, it's so frustrating to watch. He, out of all the questions he asked, he didn't ask the most important one. What's your number? Yeah. yeah. I, I disagree completely. <laughs> He's only asked questions, they know nothing about him, and then he disappears. That's mystery. Women love that. <laughs> yeah, so does Scott Norwood. It's mystery. <laughs> Nobody knows where he went. <laughs> He's gone. Well, let's see if Josh can ask the right questions. <laughs> Why are you why are you wearing sandals? Because it's summer. That's true. Do you go to the beach a lot? They're beautiful. Do you go to the beach a lot? Do you see that? Oh, I see her turn her back to the guy she was standing with. <laughs> right now, Pat wow. Riley's sitting somewhere in a room just smiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> that box up she did yeah. would put her on any NBA roster. Yeah. <laughs> Do you go to the beach a lot? I work a lot. Why don't you go every day? Because I work. Life's not that great, buddy. Well, I don't Right to it? That quick? Like, do these guys engage in any foreplay when they have sex? Like... <laughs> just like that, eh? Just like that, just that. like that. Why would I come to any other girl to ask her for a number than you? Right now. Whatever. Right now. Can I have a number, please? I'll give you my phone. Why don't you guys exchange names first? <laughs> Give her a class. Yeah. She's helping him out. <laughs> he She's like the director of pickup. <laughs> Why don't you ask him for the name first? Maybe take her for a dance, have a drink. She's teaching him. I'm gonna give you my phone. Can I, can I please? Can I please have a kiss on the cheek? He doesn't believe in, in, in rapport at all. He believes in opening and closing Close immediately. Right. And he's no. not really showing the finer points of game. game. Stuff to watch. I'm seeing a bunch of guys with sight, but absolutely no vision. Well, the, one, mean, thing, the one thing I like about Hodge is 
you know, he's creative, at least. He's got some middle, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I actually think we have to give the win to Hodge. I, th I think he engaged the, the women. They were having a good time. They, they were entertained briefly. I have to disagree completely. I think Josh won this game. Based on the criteria we have set forth, he finished, he got the number. Hodge ran around in the field, you know, he gained a whole bunch of yards, never scored any touchdowns. This guy scored a touchdown, right. and that's why he won this game. I'd rather lose pretty than win ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I say Hodge won, and what do you That's say? Hodge. As three big as you are. Three to one. <laughs> <laughs> so be it. So be it. It's three to one. Let's go to the last game and see who wins. Coming up after the break. That's my me. That's your what? That's my oh, I'm sorry. Did you what? hear what she just said? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Third round, <laughs> third period. Someone's gonna win, let's find out who it is. In round three, each player must separate a woman from her group of friends. Separation is the key to seduction. Good luck, boys. Just tell that I want to get to know. So why don't you introduce yourself? I'm gonna do that. Don't you worry. I just wanted to be upfront and honest about that. My name's Dennis. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Lovely name. Nice to meet you. Wow. Oh, we were having such a private moment. She's mine. She's taken. Oh. Okay. There's the mother hen. Oh yeah. And no. if you want to pick up the chicks, <laughs> the best way to do that is to pick up the hen. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> and the chicks will follow. Can I steal her for like five minutes? account what she wants. Yeah, I know exactly what she's thinking. She's not speaking for herself, though. I'll take her for two minutes, you come back, and then I'll leave. Promise. What's that going to accomplish? She's not going to give you her number. She's going to give you the wrong one. Whoa. Ooh. This is very hostile. This is very hostile. This is a hostile takeover. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. I'll take what I can get. I just want to talk to her it's for two minutes. It's not OK. Oh, get your straw. We'll talk for two minutes. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Even if she wants Hodge, I think he's losing this situation. Yeah, They're yeah, too yeah. strong. I think this girl has a bigger penis than he does, so. <laughs> I didn't know you loved me, dude. I'm sorry, but you're horrible. Look at her. All right. <laughs> I heard the Kansas City Chiefs are looking for another blocker for Larry Johnson. I think he just found a great, great candidate here. <laughs> Guys, this game was separation. Well, the only thing that got separated here was Hodge's dignity from his pride. <laughs> He, he starts out so well all the time, and he ends the same way. Yeah. It is heartbreaking. It is. Well, let's find out if uh, Josh can do better. Rebound, Rebound your camera. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Are you guys all here together? Yeah. Frank. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. What's the name? Josh. I actually saw you when you walked in. Something I noticed here. Did you see her lean in? Yes, in the seduction community, it's called pecking. Yeah. And whenever somebody pecks like this and comes forward, it's them saying, I'm very, very interested in what you have to yeah. say. Yeah. Can I buy you a drink at the bar over there? I'll take you away from your friends for about two minutes. All right, honey, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Over the drink. At the bar for a no, why not? Oh. <laughs> oh. Because you're my ride. No, you're not leaving me. I promise I'll bring her back. You don't trust me? She's just pissed because she was the one that he opened with yeah. and he moved on. Okay, how about this? Can I just talk to her for two seconds over there? Wow, you're a protective... That's my pussy. That's your what? That's my pussy. Oh, sorry. Did you what? hear what she just said? <laughs> <laughs> That's your what? That's my pussy. Your pussy? That's not nice. Wow. Peaches, you know how to twist this. You know what? It's, a, it's about to be uh, mine. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly what I would say. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. The bottom line is, he should not try to lock horns with no, this bull over here. No, no. I was just gonna you know say that. that. Just pull up the red cape and go thorough. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to her for two seconds. I promise. Right over here. Okay. Are you making me walk backwards? Oh, okay. I can't walk backwards. Sorry. Great position. Great position. Box out to yeah. uh, to a pivot. I'm just waiting for the hand to swoop in and hit yeah. the phone out of his hand. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not.
<laughs> I think what Josh, Josh did was he learned from his mistakes and grew in his game throughout the whole process. And that's why Josh came out the winner. There was an element that was missing the whole time until the third game for Josh, and that was intelligence. <laughs> he finally pulled it out. Absolutely. We have a definite winner but it's only because of how poor the opponent was. They shouldn't take anything away from Hodge because he, he had, he has he some had skills. He has some skills and he knows how to talk to women and he's engaging, he just doesn't know how to close. Really, there was only one thing that separated the two of these guys. And that's sometimes all it takes because you don't remember days, you remember moments. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I don't think we're gonna raise a glass. I think we're just gonna clap today. Because uh, uh, I wasn't hey. that impressed, but Josh, <laughs> you're the winner. Congratulations, so hot right now, Josh. Enjoy your VIP experience. Mark.